Hey, how are we doing? This is Dr. Nandi. Today we are going to talk about a tree diagram probability problem. So I'll share my computer screen with you. In a jar, there are 11 balls. There are three red balls and eight blue balls. Draw two balls from this jar with replacement. With replacement means after you draw the first ball, note its color and then replace it back in the jar before you draw the second ball. This process is repeated once more. The following tree diagram shows the experiment. The first set of branches show the first draw and the second set of branches show the second draw. The total number of outcomes is... Uh, so. In the first draw, you have eight blue and three red. Now, if you got blue in the first draw, you still have the probability of getting eight blue in the second draw or three red in the second draw, assuming eight blue in the first draw. So eight times eight is 64, blue, blue, BB means blue, blue, and eight times three is 24, blue first and then red. Similarly, there are three red in the first draw, three times eight blue, 24 red and blue, and three times three is nine red, red. Total number of outcomes in the sample space is 64 plus 24 plus 24 plus nine equal to 121. Says part A. So, let's do the solution. Part A. Find R, R. That means red in the first draw, red in the second draw. And that is, we see nine. So probability of red, red is nine out of 121. And that is equal to use a calculator, nine divided by 121 is equal to 0 0.074. Okay, part B. Find P, R, B, R, B, R. Okay, these are independent events and they do not intersect. So it is P of R, B plus P of B, R. Now R, B is equal to 24 out of 121 and this is B. BR is also 24 out of 121. They do not happen at the same time. They do not intersect. Therefore, they're independent and they will add the probabilities. So it is 48 out of 121, which is equal to 48 divided by 121 is 0 0.397. Part C says find P, R on the first draw and blue on the second draw. So R on the first draw and blue on the second draw. Okay. Probability of R on the first draw And blue, and means intersection, blue on the second draw. On the second draw. So this is equal to uh, probability of R and blue on the second draw, which is 24 out of 121. R on the first draw, blue on the second draw, three times eight is 24 out of 121. So 24 divided by 121 is 0 0.198. 198. And part D, find the probability of R on the second draw. R on the second draw. 
second draw given means that event happened first blue on the first draw so blue on the first draw happened first then red on the second draw and that is equal to from the definition of given is probability of red on uh, no blue on the first draw so it is uh, we can let me erase this So this is this. So this is erased. This way. Okay, and then go back here. So red on the first draw. So from the definition of this is a conditional probability, right? So the definition of conditional probability is in this case will be probability of red on the second. On the second and blue on the first draw on the first divided by probability of blue on the first draw on the first draw first draw okay because that happened first so we will create some space for us. We'll move this away a little bit on the top. Then move it over here. And then we'll go back here. So red on the first draw. Uh, red on the second and blue on the first. Red on the second and blue on the first. Okay. Red on the second and blue. Okay, is equal to 3 out of 11 because there are 3 red balls. And blue on the first draw is 8 out of 11. Why 11? Because there are total 11 number of balls in the jar at any one point of time. Okay, because we are always doing replacement. So basically, 3 out of 11 and divided by when we bring it to the numerator they get okay transpose the numerator uh, becomes the denominator 8 becomes the denominator and 11 the denominator becomes the numerator so this 11 cancels with this 11 and the final answer is 3 out of 8 which is 3 divided by 8 which is 0.375. So let me repeat the part D again. Probability red of the sec red on the second draw given blue on the first draw. So this is conditional probability. What is the condition? B has happened first. So from the definition of conditional probability, it is probability of red on the second draw and blue on the first draw. Okay divided by probability of blue on the first draw. So red on the second draw is three. You are looking at the blue arm or blue branch, okay? In the first one, eight blue. So, and then coming out from that is three red. So three red out of 11 is the probability red on the second and blue on the first. Okay, so 3 out of 11 and blue on the first draw probability is 8 out of 11. So it's 3 out of 11 divided by 8 out of 11. And then we uh, bring 8 uh, divided by 11 in the numerator by multiplying with 11 over 8 rule of fraction. The numerator becomes the denominator, denominator becomes the numerator. So 11 and 11 cancel and this is 3 out of 8. Or 0.375. So I'll stop here today. If you have a comment, please write me a note. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And if you like this video, please let your friends know about it. And so that you and your friends can subscribe by hitting the red subscribe button at the bottom right corner. I'll come back next time with another interesting problem, interesting solution.
Take care. Have a nice day. See you next time. Thanks for watching.